So I'd like to read the first, the opening section of All He Knew, which is when Henry, who's a, a six-year-old boy, arrives at the institution where he will be for most of the book. This is Arrival at Riverview, September 1939. Henry comes here on a Greyhound bus, slow along the bumpy road, his mother in the seat beside him, sitting straight and tall, her nostrils pinched, her words held deep inside. She understands by now that Henry cannot hear them. Henry is thinking about his sister, Molly. Why was she trying so hard not to cry and crying anyway when she hugged me this morning? Papa didn't cry, of course. He never does. He waved his hand as the bus rolled away, and Henry, looking out, waved back. I'm skipping now to the part where Henry is, where the bus comes closer to Riverview. Henry concentrates to make sure he remembers the last few moments of the bus ride the bus stopping every so often to let people off and on, then Mama looking at her ma map at every stop. Henry thinks, I bet that barn used to be red when it was new, but now look how the roof is falling in. There must be mice in there because that cat that just came out is fat. At the next stop, right after the barn, Mama gestures, here's where we get off. The gate, the grounds, a row of trees, Mama holding out her hand, Henry's small hand wrapped in hers. Along the stony path and up the 27 stairs to this room where they wait. Blue carpet, big soft chairs, cool water in a pitcher with two drinking glasses. The heavy door, the room where Mama signs some papers. Back in the first room, a father arrives with three children and departs with two. Henry waits with Mama until someone comes, a woman, not unkind, not gentle either. Follow me, she says, and when she sees he cannot hear, she points and Henry walks that way. Through another door, Mama not allowed to follow. Why not? What is this place? Who are these people? 